Welcome to Election Day. Let's make sure you're ready and prepared to head to the polls. This group of videos will cover the things that you might encounter when you go to your polling location to vote on Election Day. Think of it as a general overview of what to expect. The first step in voting on Election Day is finding your polling place. You can always verify your current polling location by contacting your local election office. And during statewide and federal elections, you can check your voter status, precinct information, and polling place at votemt.gov. We'll have more on that in the next episode. What can you expect once you arrive at your polling place? Episode two in this series will take you through checking in at the polls, providing your name, identification, and signing the poll book. Each of these steps confirms you're a qualified, registered elector that's at the right location on election day. Once you're all checked in, it's time to receive your ballot and let your voice be heard. In episode three, we'll discuss the common errors related to marking a ballot, what to do if you make a mistake, and how to turn in your ballot once you're finished voting. We'll also discuss options for voters who may need special assistance completing their ballot. After you join the thousands of Montanans casting a ballot, it's time to eagerly await the results to see which candidates will be elected and which ballot issues may be approved. Once the polls closed, county election officials begin tallying the unofficial results and publishing them on the Secretary of State's election night reporting website. Episode four will take a deeper dive into what you can expect as the results come in. For more on the process that leads from election day, to election night. Let's head over to episode one. I'll see you there.